I was a reporter who broke the story of the arrest of a a very notorious figure. I got to know him over the course of reporting on him, and I eventually developed such a close relationship with him uh, that I left my job and um, decided to pursue a romantic relationship with him. Uh, And this was... um, created a lot of stir on the internet. Um, People found that very shocking. Um, I went public about the relationship in 2020 in a um, a profile in Elle magazine because I felt really strongly that I wanted to get my story out there and I didn't want it to be um, constructed into something that it wasn't because it looks like one thing on the surface, but there was a lot uh, lot of deeper stuff going on. The framing of the article, well, I, I totally respect the reporter who made those choices. Um, I've known her for a while, actually. Um, in in L, uh, the, the framing was that I threw away my life for Martin Shkreli. Um, and yeah, I kind of object to that characterization because um, my life has continued. <laughs> I didn't throw anything away. Um, in fact, I would say that I'm in a much happier place now than I uh, used to be. Um, and also there, there was this uh, perception um, that the article conveyed, which I, I don't think the reporter meant to be meant this to be taken so literally, but it was, uh, you know, I had said something about how I, I left the perfect little life in Brooklyn. Um, and I was kind of being facetious, you know, like uh, we all are familiar with the way people present themselves on social media, on Instagram, you know, you put only the best parts of what's going on in your life. So it's edited. And I would say that I had an Instagram perfect life. Um, you know, it was exactly the the sort of thing where you have um, a young couple, I was married at the time, um, living in Park Slope. Um, uh, for your viewers, you know, it's an extremely liberal um, <laughs> and a, a well-off neighborhood in, um, in Brooklyn. Um, and I, I just didn't, I wasn't happy, you know, I wasn't happy with my entire situation. Um, and so when I left, it wasn't that I was leaving my vision of a perfect life. I was leaving a vision that was like Instagram perfect that really wasn't perfect below the surface. There was so much stigma surrounding him and his persona on the internet that there was, when I met him in person, it just didn't match what everyone was saying about him. Um, and, And I did like him immediately, although I didn't trust those feelings. But what I liked about him was he was Um, he was extremely open, honestly, he was very earnest. Um, He's very smart, very smart. Um, And and smart in a way where it isn't just one thing that he knows a lot about, or one thing he's good at. He's he's an intellectually curious person on a level uh, I rarely see. Um, So I was very intrigued by that. He issued the infamous you know, dismissive statement um, in L. Um, we we had a lot of. Um, it was very contentious at the time when I when I went public uh, back in twenty December twenty twenty. COVID was a uh, raging throughout the country and in the prison system in particular. It was especially dangerous because you can't get six feet away from people in prison, mm-hmm. uh, and so diseases of all kinds spread rampantly in there, and nobody was really sure how to treat it at the time. Um, so I was really worried he would get sick and there wouldn't be anybody to advocate for him. Uh, so I thought, you know what, I have to go ahead and go public. People are going to pay attention to this. Then at least I have a voice in case he gets sick. Uh, and he didn't want me to do that. You know, he didn't want me to put all this on myself. He didn't want me to get this spotlight thrown on me. Um, you know, he didn't want, I mean, there were just so many reasons. I mean, he was uncomfortable. It may have been control issues. I don't know, but whatever it was. You know, he was really, really averse to me going public. Um, but I decided to do it anyway, because I was like, whatever, I know best. And if even if I have to throw away the relationship for this, I, I care so much, I can't let this go. Uh, and uh, so he was very angry with me. He broke up with me through his lawyers in uh, the L article. Basically, it, you know, he wasn't, it was it was not like nasty, but he was, you know, very dismissive. Um, and of course that hurt. Um, but you know, truth is what it is. And I believe very passionately in telling things how they are. Uh, and, um, but it was funny, uh, just a few days later after he was able to tell how much interest the story stirred and how much reaction people had, because people had a very strong negative reaction to it. I took over the internet for the day. Um, he called me and he said, is this Christy Smythe, the celebrity? And he was like tickled by it. It was very weird. But um, <laughs> anyway, the, the point is that we, we, we are still friends. 
we are, you know, nothing more um, because there's really no way to have a romantic relationship with someone in prison when you can't even see him. It has been two years since I have seen him because visiting protocols have been, you know, a nightmare. Uh, so we're friends. We talk, um, you know, and, and that's about it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does when he gets out. The way that I, I don't know how all people are when it comes to love and relationships and people they care about. When I, it takes, I'm one of those people where it takes a lot for me to fall in love. And then once I am in love, um, there's always a part of me that will love that person. You know, even if I am able to, you know, I'm able to pick up and move on and, you know, it, it, life happens. But I would say that there is, yes, part of me will always love Martin. I absolutely don't have any regrets about what, uh, you know, what has transpired. Yes, I am so excited to see him when he gets out. I imagine that there will be a very big hug.